It was a gruesome development in Iraq's mostly peaceful anti-government protests. A mob killed 17-year-old Maytham Ali, then hung his body from a traffic light in Baghdad as hundreds of people as well as security forces stood by. The circumstances of Thursday's killing remain unclear. Demonstrators accused the teenager of shooting at them, but a military spokesman said he didn't harm anyone. Neighbors say he simply wanted to protect his house from encroaching crowds. He is the son of the neighborhood. I've known him since childhood. When I heard his name, I was surprised. He's just a child. How can they accuse him? Some protesters blame the killing on infiltrators refusing to accept the possibility that other demonstrators could be capable of such violence. It has affected us. It has brought a bad reputation upon us. We went out to protest peacefully. We would never kill and slaughter anyone like that. It's the parties who sent infiltrators. On Friday, crowds in Baghdad's Tahrir Square, which has been the epicenter of months of anti-government demonstrations, were noticeably thin, except for members of the Sadrist movement. The followers of Shia cleric Muqtada Sadr have discreetly managed security throughout the demonstrations, but in an unusually public show of force, they marched on Tahrir Square to make their position known. We are human shield to protect peaceful demonstrators, and we refuse that disgraceful act. We expect those criminals who committed this awful crime to be punished, and we are waiting for Muqtada Sadr's orders. A Ministry of Interior spokesman told Al Jazeera that an investigation is ongoing. Two arrest warrants have been issued so far. No one's been detained. Thursday's brutal killing here in Al Wafba Square is unprecedented and it signals something broader. Observers say it's a dangerous sign of growing acceptance of violence and the breakdown of the state. Simona Foltin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.